Hey everybody, so it's January 27th. We are eight weeks out from my first competition, which is extremely exciting and insanely nerve-wracking at the same time. But nonetheless, overall very excited, making insane progress. Um, way to stay the same, which is, uh, for me, it's very weird just because I should be, I would think that I should be losing weight while I'm getting prepped for contest, but yet um, all my measurement, all my measurements that I want, like my waist, are going down, which is really good, while everything else is staying the same, and I, through the progress pictures that I'm taking weekly, they are making, it's insane significant gains, it's, there's a lot of definition coming through, and I'm very, very happy with my progress. Um, Though my the main thing that I thought about what I wanted to talk about is uh, last week was probably the worst week I've ever had training and there's a lot of things that I kind of figured attributed to it and not only was it just the mindset but I think um, it's important to realize when you are not giving it your all in the gym because you're only gonna get something you're only gonna get something back from it if you can put everything into it and my mind just was not into it it was into it right every day when I walk into the gym but you know half an hour into my workout I just was not feeling it I just it was like my the way my workouts are structured um, there's different phases to each workout and with those phases I basically get to the same type of phase for each workout and my mind just wasn't in it and it's an all it was all mind games and it really sucked because walking away from the gym not finishing my training session knowing that the guy that I'm going to be competing against probably is finishing his really really sucks and it's such a hit to the ego and you know there's this saying you know check your ego at the door yeah I do that but it's still it's it still hurts when you walk out of the gym not finishing your workout and just not hitting the goals that you wanted. And yet, nonetheless, um, progress was made. Though a lot of things that I think attributed to the crappy workout, um, music selection, I am very, very tired of my music that I have on my iPod. It's been for probably two months now. Really need to change that up. Top of it, um, I think my because it was uh, my phase my coaches have my training phases go in four week cycles so everything progresses up and then my last week is more of I don't know you can say it's like a recovery week I had it while still training but it you're the way everything ramps and phases there you feel really really strong during that week and this last week I just was not feeling strong and it was the last week it's less sets, um, pretty much the same reps, but it's just less sets, and I think I was just kind of maybe bored with the workout is probably the better way of saying it. It, I don't know, it's kind of, it, it's a wash either way. Um, and so I just, I feel that it was pretty important to make sure that I mentioned that in the video is that when you, that Throughout training, not every day is going to be great. Not every week is going to be great. I clearly had a really, really crappy week. And it just it didn't work for me. But I am hoping that this following week will be great. I get a new training program. which So I know that it will be fine. I, I know that it, the first week is always a little difficult because it's always new exercises, new reps, new sets. You, there's no everything you just gotta relearn everything but nonetheless it's still exciting because it's it's all new stuff and it's it's just structured differently and you know you kinda look forward to that and that's the biggest thing is change like we all are you know I love change I love things changing up I love being constantly moving and stuff and that's my workouts are changing every four weeks and maybe I was just that bored and it's nothing against a workout, nothing against my coaches. It was all me. It was all my mindset, and I just 
my my mind just was not in it. My heart was, but my mind was not because my heart wasn't in it. I would not have had. I would not have wanted to stay. Um, I would have been. I would have been fine leaving the gym. Um, let's see. My nutrition staying the same for the next uh, next month. Um, was just talking with my coach about that, and it's that part staying the same. Progress must be going good enough where it's staying the same. I have no idea to the method of the madness. This is my be my first competition. I have no idea what to expect other than just trust it and I go with it and do what I'm told. And it works for me. It's a lot less thinking on my part. So anybody that's looking or thinking about competing, highly advise getting some coaches just just to I mean even if it's just to, for the last like couple months, just so you can get an idea of what proper the proper way to cut and how during peak week the last week right before competition on how to get ready and posing posing is insane I've gone to many shows and I've seen some really really bad posing and it's not it's it's not the inexperience because you I mean you could tell when someone's inexperienced like their first show and I'm sure I will be that guy up there but there are some guys that I've seen up there posing for men's physique that they just they look horrible they are basically posing like women's figure athletes and that's that's inexperience and not knowing what to do and to me I don't know how you could go on stage not knowing what to do because that's pretty frightening to me that's just me I don't know maybe I'm not the maybe other people don't really care they're just gonna go on stage do whatever wing it and see what happens I like to be prepared. I like to know what's going on. I'm a list person. What can I say? Um, that's pretty much about it for right now. Um, shoulders doing great. Just got done. I met with a chiropractor and a physical therapist a couple of days ago, and everything's I got realigned, adjusted, and now I'll be going back for pretty much every couple days to back to the chiropractor so to get adjusting keep everything back in alignment and get my body back to the way it was um, which great I don't know I felt great afterwards and I feel felt great all weekend so assuming it's only gonna get better from here so with that, all that being said hope you all have a good week and we'll talk to you later